Welcome to the Riverside Training Facility. I'm Lieutenant Sonny Bonds. I'll be observing your practice run from the catwalks and giving you a few pointers about our procedures. I'm sure you've heard all of this before, but it never hurts to practice one more time. As you know, training is what gives SWAT the edge in the field. Take advantage of this facility to test out your weapons and meet your new team. When you're ready to start, just go through the door to the right. This is the firing range. Firearm proficiency is a top priority for any SWAT officer. But never forget that SWAT is a life-saving organization. You're only authorized to fire in defense of life. Step up to the station on the far left and take a few shots at the targets. You should practice aiming for the center of mass. Hitting a suspect in the chest has the best chance of stopping him cold. A good thing to practice is the so-called failure drill. That's when you take two shots at the body and then one at the head. When you are finished with that, step up to the center station. Your pistol is your backup weapon, usually used when you're in a bind or don't have time to reload. At this range, pistols and shotguns become less accurate, and it's often best to use a submachine gun or an assault rifle. Equip your primary weapon and take some shots at this mid-range target. Submachine guns and rifles have multiple firing modes, ranging from single shot to full automatic. The M4 fires in semi and full auto modes while the submachine gun has semi-auto and a three-round burst. When you're done, move down to the long-range station. At long range, accuracy becomes imperative. Your ability to control your weapon with skill and discipline will save your life and the lives of the people around you. If you set the M4 on full auto, you will quickly lose control of it due to recoil. Give it a try now. Set your M4 to full auto and fire several short controlled bursts. When you're finished on the range, move through the door on the right. see how hard it can be to control your weapon and remain accurate at this range. See how hard it can be to control your weapon and remain accurate at this range. Now you can see how hard it can be to control your weapon and remain accurate at this range. Make sure you're firing from a solid shooting platform. Remember that any shot that misses the target in the field might strike an innocent civilian. Not bad. Remember, you're most accurate when you have a strong and stable firing position. When you try to move and shoot, your accuracy is going to suffer. The faster you move, the worse your aim will be. Your accuracy will be highest when you're standing still and crouching. This portion of the range is for firing at multiple targets behind cover. Try moving and firing at them to get a sense of just how movements affect your accuracy. When you must move and fire, keep in mind that moving smoothly at a constant speed will give you better control over your weapon. Remember, smooth is fast, smooth is accurate. When you're done, go through the door to the right.
Welcome to the grenade range. Finally! Practice throwing your non-lethal grenades for a while. You can test your accuracy by throwing them through the windows on the structure. You can also test their effectiveness by throwing them at Cadet Wilson. Wilson has volunteered to experience precisely how non-lethals affect suspects in the field. You ready, Cadet? Uh, I guess so. Cheer up, kid. We all had to do this once. It'll only sting for a few minutes. <laughs> are designed to disorient people with a very loud bang and an extremely bright touch. If you don't look away from the detonation, you can get blinded too. CS gas causes people's eyes to water and affects their breathing. It makes it easier for them to do anything other than cough for a short period of time. Pipsy, where is it? Their targets with rubber balls that stun and disorient them. Great. Let's continue. Go ahead and try this door. Uh-huh. I locked it before you got here. We have multiple tools for handling a locked door. The first is picking it. Good when you want your entry to an area to be quiet. Pull out your toolkit and use it to pick the lock. Nice work. Move on to the next door. We'll use... Okay, we're going all out on this one. Pull out your C2 charge, and let's blow this thing open. C2 is great for opening doors quickly and surprising the perps on the other side. This, now stand back and blow it. Nice. I never get tired of that. You do need to be careful with these. A they cop! are explosives. Anyone directly on the other side of a door Hands is going in the to air. get seriously get down. injured. Damn, well, you've got Officer nerve. Hanson here was smart enough to give up for you. But the perps, and sometimes even the victims, don't give up that easily. You are authorized to take down anyone who's aiming a weapon at you or another person. But remember, you should fire your weapon only in defense of life. If a subject hasn't given up, but isn't threatening anyone, use your other options. You can hit them with the less lethal shotgun, zap them with the taser, pepper spray them, or use one of your grenades. That will give even the biggest knucklehead second thoughts about resisting. Now that Hansen has given up, you need to restrain him. At an incident scene, you will need to restrain everyone you find. Since hey, you can never be why are you treating me sure like a criminal who's a victim and who's a perp. What do you know about the new leader? Entry anyway, team huh? to talk. Civilian ready to evacuate. Supposed to be Roger that. Much. Trailer standing by. LA. It's a war zone. If you're going to lead a tactical element, you better week. start working with them. That's why the team the is in the room to the right. Guess we'll be in good hands. Order them to fall in. You won't be in anybody's hands if you don't pipe down. Well, the team is eager to meet you, so let's get going. Move into the next room. Gold, fall in on me. Nice Coming to, to you, meet you, sir. Too. I don't think I quite heard you, Fields. With you. What did you say? Nothing, sir. Fields here has a big opening mouth. clear. Go but when ready. Glad he's around Check. with your knee high on it. Brass. Okay, let's see if you guys can clear a room. Order the team to clear let's the roll. room behind me. Nice. No visible threats. Good one, LT. Moving forward. Don't make me come down there. In right. position. Clear. Clear. I shut the lights off. Reynolds, on. clear. Follow them in and use the flashlight Jackson, mounted on your clear. firearm to navigate to the next door. Beware of doorways. Most SWAT fatalities occur when the team is ambushed as they come through the door. Deploying a grenade into the doorway will buy your team time to clear the threshold. Go ahead and do an open bang and clear on that door. Prep a bang. Open and clear. On it.
Clear so far. Trailers, let's go. Clear. Fields. I'm clear. In position. All right. Clear. Room Behind clear. these tires, there's an open doorway. It's often best to scout out a room from a safe distance. Back in the day, we used a mirror on a stick. Simple, but effective. Nowadays, there's a high-tech gadget for everything. For corners and open doors, we have the OptiWand. The OptiWand's a tiny camera at the end of a telescoping tube. You can even use it to peer under a closed door to scope out a room before you enter it. Use the OptiWand on this doorway Clear to scout it. out Move. what's ahead. Copy you should that. be able to stand on your side of the door and Let's stick move. the wand through the doorway without clear entering so far. the room. Continuing on. Finished with the wand. It's clear. Tell the element to clear the room. When the team discovers a hallway while clearing, Boss, they will you're enter in my way. and wait for you. This prevents the team from Get becoming way. overextended. Have them fall in you're and in then my move spot. up to the intersection. What the hell was that move for? Over, boss. Regroup. Be ready to move. You now have two Got possible back, directions boss. of travel. Sometimes it's best to split up your element to perform different tasks. Command the blue team to stack up on the door at the end of the hallway. That way, they can cover your back while you and the red team move to the door on the left. Red team, get in position. Check the door. That's not what I asked. Try again. Blue, stack up on that door. Got it. Good. Red team. Now with tell you. the red team to fall in and move down to the other door. Red, fall in and stay close. Go. I'll take point. Okay. You can keep tabs you on back, your boss. officers when you're separated from them by observing their movements through the helmet cameras. Check out what Blue is seeing right now. When you're ready, move into the next room, and then we'll start. Regroup. Be ready to move. We're with you. Since you can essentially see through their eyes, it's not hard to command them from a distance. Tell the blue team to move in clear, through the door they're covering. Blue team, get her open and clear it. Move it! Go, go, go! No visible threats. Keep it going. Room clear. In position? Clear. Great. Let's continue. Head out of this room and stop about halfway up the stairs in the hallway. Stay with me. I'm on point. Hold up there. One of the most valuable members of your team is the sniper. During the course of a mission, they will provide valuable intel and can even take out a bad guy without the team ever getting in harm's way. Sierra One is across the warehouse in the little room above the firing range. Sierra One, whenever you're ready. Sierra One to entry team, I have an unknown. The snipers will tell you when they see anything of interest. You can switch to the sniper's point of view just like you can with your teammates. Check it out. You're finished. Continue up and go into the room with the target dummy. Fall in on me. Right on. With you. Regroup and stand by to move. Sweet. Donuts. I'm with you. Nobody told me there'd be donuts. How can you eat that trash, man? That crap will slow you down in the field. At least there's more to his diet than just meat. Don't knock it till you tried it, bro. Regroup on me. On your six.